This epidemic is a national health emergency. Unlike many of us, we've seen and what we've seen in our lifetimes. Nobody has seen anything like what's going on now. So that was back in October. The president promised to make the fight against the opioid crisis a top priority. So where does it stand now? This week, former Democratic Congressman uh, Patrick Kennedy, who was on that commission, said this. He said, this thing is a charade. You can't expect to stem the tide of a public health crisis that is claiming over 64,000 lives per year without putting your money where your mouth is. The slow pace of the fight hitting home for one narcotics officer who we spoke to last night who lost his own daughter to addiction. You say that one of the biggest problems you felt was that there weren't enough options for treatment that you could, that you could get her into. Not what I would call acceptable treatment. I mean, a lot of the treatment facilities we went to, um, you know, it was all based by, uh, it was all dictated by what your insurance would pay and how long they would allow you to stay there. Former Democratic Congressman Patrick Kennedy joins me now. Uh, it's good to have you with us tonight. Thank you very much for being here, Patrick. Thanks, Martha. Um, we reached out to the White House today to find out what happened when this commission ended. We have not heard anything back from them. We hope that we will. What's your understanding of who's leading this charge now? Well, I will say uh, Governor Christie, who is chair of our commission, was uh, terrific. Uh, he uh, actually not only talked the talk, he was walking the walk here in New Jersey, where I live now. As governor, he uh, appropriated $250 million just for uh, New Jersey. Now, that would make it nearly half as much as being spent on the whole country. Can you imagine New Jersey yeah. spending half of what the whole nation is spending on the opioid crisis? Which means that it just is a pitiful, pitiful story when it comes to the amount of real federal effort and leadership on the part of the president. Because frankly, when we had the AIDS crisis, for example, Martha, we were spending $24 billion a year to, to tackle that very mm -hmm. uh, challenging issue. We were losing 53,000 Americans a year to HIV AIDS. This year, we're losing 64,000, as I mentioned. We're not even spending a half a billion dollars on tackling an even greater public health crisis than HIV AIDS. All right, so explain and to so, me, because you know, people uh, out there listen uh, and they look at you know, how much money the government spends on so many things, and some of them they think are, are wasteful. So explain, if they were to put the American tax dollars that are needed, as you say, towards this, how would you spend them? What would you do? Well, we know, we, we read every day and we watch on your newscast about the uh, flu epidemic. Mm -hmm. And Americans are fine about saving people from getting the flu and getting their flu shot to keep them from going into the emergency rooms. We have a flu shot for the opioid epidemic. It's called short and long acting buprenorphine. It can be given in any physician's office anywhere in this country. The only thing that's not making this happen is the fact the federal government has not pushed forward for a proper reimbursement to allow doctors to go ahead and, and prescribe this. On top of that, we need to treat this like the medical issue it is. As the gentleman you spoke to last night, the father, there's not adequate treatment options in this country. Yeah. Whereas if you were trying to get treatment for your loved one with cancer or diabetes or cardiovascular disease, there wouldn't be any problem with that. You'd have St. Jude's Hospital to call up. But where are you going to call when your loved one is dying of an addiction? We're losing over 100,000 Americans when you consider not only overdose, but suicide. Yeah. And then think about how many more million Americans who are dying inside because their loved one is suffering from addiction. I hear you. They haven't died yet, but the whole family yeah. is blown apart. You're this so is true. a public health epidemic, and it's a it nationwide is. epidemic. And there's not any of us uh, who don't know people or love people who've been touched by this. And I appreciate your voice on this, and we're going to stay on it, and we hope that uh, you'll get the funding that you believe this requires, uh, and we'll keep talking about it. Thank you very much. Good to see you tonight. Patrick Thank Kennedy. Thank you, Martha. You